Hi Danny, Grace and Jude. This is the exercise carbohydrate calculators. So using the most latest available um, best evidence, which is the at present, the EASD and ISPAD consensus guidelines on exercise management, I've pulled together some PDF calculators. So no matter what activity you're doing, what age you are and how much you weigh, we can get how much carbs you're gonna need every 20 minutes based on the glucose level and the trend arrow. It'll be a good guide to start with. So these calculators bring all the information together. Just a key, few key features is for exercise, it's best to be between seven and 10 millimoles per liter, 140 to 180 milligrams per deciliter. So if you do drop quickly, you've got a bit of wiggle room where you don't go low because sometimes the CGM can be a little bit behind the glucose level, especially during exercise. It's fine to start exercise between five and seven, but you'll just need a few extra carbs. If you're below five, it's best to check 20 minutes before exercise just to bump you up um, above five or above 100 milligrams per deciliter. The really key thing is, is to need, need to check every 20 minutes. And a lot of this comes back to where we talked in the foundation sections is, when you give glucose, dextrose or leucosade, it's in the system within 20 minutes. Therefore, you know if you do top-ups every 20 minutes, has that glucose been enough? Has it been too much? If you've gone too high, you just don't have any for the next 20 minutes, you come back down. If you haven't had enough, you'll be dropping, you'll need to give more. If you make it more than 20 minutes, like half an hour, 40 minutes, the chances of going really low or really high increase massively. And remember, never have any really more than 20 grams in 20 minutes, although during exercise, you can get away with having up to one and a half grams per minute, up to 30, just in case you're dropping with double arrows down to prevent hypos. That's the only time we go above one gram every minute. We cap the weight in the calculator at 60 kilos because if you go higher than 60 kilos, the amount that you're gonna have is gonna go way above 1.5 grams every minute, more than 30 grams in 20 minutes, which is not possible for the body to absorb and will not be helpful to stack all that level of glucose. So obviously that's why it's capped at 60 kg. And the idea with charts is you check every 20 minutes, you look at your glucose level, you look at the arrow and it'll tell you how many grams to have and then what you can do in terms of how much um, that is in your particular treatment. Best to be glucose only and not sugar because as we've discussed, the glucose only gets in with there within 20 minutes. If you have sugar, which is half glucose, half fructose, only the glucose will go in the blood. The fructose will get stuck in the liver and cause all sorts of problems. So this is what a chart looks like. So when you download the charts, it's pretty simple. You enter your name, what activity you're doing, how much you weigh, what's your hypo risk, what type of activity you're doing, what glucose units you use and where you use to treat ketones at. And then it tells you exactly what to do 20 minutes before, check the glucose level, check the arrow, have the necessary amount of carbs and what it is in terms of dextrose and you can change these options. And then you check every 20 minutes during and then you change the amount of carbs required. Obviously this is not gonna work perfectly every single time, but it's a good guide based on the evidence and it'll give you a solid place to start. So depending on which um, system you're on because who knows what you're going to be on Grace and Jude. I've developed calculators on the glucosenevalize.com that you can download that are for the Dexcom G6, for the Libras, for the Medtronics and also for the Dexcom with the pumps such as the Tandems and the T-Slins and maybe in the future they're the Omnipods, who knows. So you can download those calculators there and at the time of need you can use those and that should make it much easier for you to know exactly how much carbs to have during exercise every 20 minutes.